Welcome to Great Chefs of Austria. Today we enjoy a royal culinary experience from Vienna's Hotel Imperial, located on Vienna's famous Ringstrasse, and head chef Stefan Herzer. Today's banquet is fit for an emperor, as Chef Herzer prepares salmon tartare on potato pancakes with caviar, venison medallions with cream cabbage, and slip dumplings, and sweet cheese dumplings. Hotel Imperial was converted from a private residence in 1873. It was then that Emperor Franz Joseph himself inaugurated the former townhouse and christened it the Imperial and Court Hotel. A tradition of heavy and heady responsibility to a succession of head chefs challenged by the sophisticated palates of Austria's royal family, not to mention visiting dignitaries. Those large shoes have been ably filled since 1985 by Syrian Stefan Herzer, who demonstrates his regal culinary skills in this first offering, salmon tartare on potato pancakes with caviar. We begin with rohen kartoffeln. They are here geschält. Chef Herzer begins the potato pancakes by grating cooked and cooled potatoes onto a cloth. Am besten auf ein Tuch reiben. Damit man, damit man die Flüssigkeit dann ausdrücken kann. Excess moisture is squeezed through the cloth and the potatoes reserved to a bowl. One egg is combined with the potatoes. Das gut auslinken. Dann in den Schüssen geben. Und mit einem Ei mischen. Würzen das mit etwas Pfeffer. Salt, pepper, and nutmeg are added to the batter. It is then spooned into a non-stick pan where the pancakes will be cooked in olive oil. Chef Herzer cuts fresh salmon into pieces that will be ground into tartare. Wenn Sie keine Verschiermaschine zu Hause haben, kann man äh, den Lachs auch mit dem Messer hacken. Das wäre dann so, dass Sie vielleicht dünne Scheiben runterschneiden. Und mal. In the absence of a grinder, thin slices of salmon are finely minced. 
a technique that might be considered labor-intensive if one were serving a royal banquet. The texture of ground salmon is also preferable to that of mint. The salmon is combined with one half cup of creme fraiche. The Cayenne pepper, lemon juice, chopped parsley, and chopped chervil are added. The blended tartar is chilled. Butter is added to the frying pan to finish the potato pancakes. Mixed greens are tossed with balsamic vinegar, oil, salt, and pepper. Salmon tartare is then spread on a potato pancake next to the mixed green garnish. Three tiers will be used. Abwechslungs eine Schicht Kartoffeln, dann das Tartar drauf. Dann werden wir Kartoffeln draufsetzen. So einen kleinen Burger. The salmon pancake sandwich is topped with creme fraiche and caviar. A garnish of sliced salmon is added. of Austrian aristocracy. In the Baroque period, game was often served as the second of eight courses offered during what is moderately termed banquets. As such, it would be an injustice to omit game from the menu of the official imperial hotel. Chef Herzl serves justice and a delightful dish in his second offering, venison medallions with creamed cabbage and slipped dumplings. Chef Herzl begins with the cabbage. Chopped cabbage is blanched in boiling salt water. The sauce for the cabbage begins with sautéed onion and bacon in butter. Flour and a half cup each of milk and light cream are combined with the sautéed bacon and onion. This mixture should cook for six to eight minutes. We smell it now. I make it with muscat, salt and pepper. You can also use a little cumin. It's left in the taste. Ich 
den blanchierten Kohl gut ausdrücken. The blanched cabbage is drained and then combined with the cream sauce. Und in die Soße reingeben. The dough for the slip dumplings begins by ricing about a pound of potatoes and butter together. One ounce of semolina, four ounces of flour, and an egg are added to the riced potatoes and butter. Wir lassen etwas vom Mehl zurück, dass wir dann die Nudeln formen können und äh, im Stauben brauchen wir noch etwas Mehl. Chef Herzl seasons the dough with salt and fresh nutmeg. Ich den nicht and then combines the ingredients into a smooth dough. The Austrian name for this dish is Schupfnudeln, which roughly translated means work noodle. They are formed by working the dough with the flat of the hand into large noodles. The noodles are placed in salt water heated to just below the boiling point. They are cooked for about two minutes or until they rise to the surface. So. Sie vorsichtig rausheben, damit sie nicht brechen. Chef Herzog begins trimming the venison with an incision down the back. The bones and scraps will be retained for a reduced stock, which is needed for the sauce. The fillets are trimmed out. Praktisch wie beim äh, Rindsrücken der Lungenbraten, so ist das eben auch das weiche Fleisch, kann man dann nicht braten und als besonderes Schmankerl auf Teller legen. Fat and silver skin are trimmed from the tenderloins. The cleaned venison is cut into medallions. The medallions are seasoned with salt and pepper and then browned in olive oil. Rosemary, thyme, and a stick of cinnamon is added. The venison is then placed in a 350 degree oven for six to eight minutes. Ich 
das Filet vielleicht als erstes herausnehmen, also das, den kleinen. The venison is removed from the oven and sauteed briefly in butter. The medallions are removed from the pan, which is then deglazed with red wine. The wine is reduced. Rotwein. Cranberries and raspberries are added to the wine reduction. The sauce is completed by briefly reducing venison demi-glace, after which butter is blended into the sauce. Und dann von der Flamme nehmen, damit sich die Butter nicht absetzt. Filet können wir dann noch oben als Garnitur drauflegen. Love of sweets. In return, their sweets are noted around the world for their creativity and delicacy. So it should come as no surprise that Chef Herzer contributes to that legacy with his final offering: sweet cheese dumplings. Dumplingknödel mit uh, Bärenmark verwenden wir uh, Weißbrotbrösel. Uh, farmer's cheese is added to trimmed and cubed bread. Ricotta could be substituted for the farmer's cheese. Ein Topfen, das ist äh, Ricotta ähnlich äh, für unsere amerikanischen Gäste. So ungespritzte Zitronensäfte, ganz leicht abreiben. Und etwas Orange. Vanilla essence is scraped from the bean and added to the bread and cheese. Mark herausgekratzt. Und ein Ei dazu. Egg and granulated sugar are added. Und Zucker. The cheese mixture is allowed to sit after blending. Powdered sugar and a combination of strawberries and raspberries are blended into a coulis for presentation. The serving plate is decorated by piping warm chocolate into a design. Nehmen einfach Schokolade in eine Papiertülle, leicht angewärmt, bis es sich spritzt. So, dann werden wir Knödel formen. 
The dough is shaped into balls and placed in boiling water for about five minutes. Wenn man besonders geschmackvolle Knödel bekommen möchte, dann kann man auch einen kleinen Schuss Rum. Rum is added to the water for flavor, and Chef Herzer adds for the entertainment of the chef. Ist etwas lustiger beim Kochen, wenn ich Dampf aufsteigt. In der Zwischenzeit kann man eine kleine Garnitur hier vorbereiten. The plate is garnished with mixed berries. and the coulis is distributed into the chocolate circles. Solange die Knödel im Wasser ziehen, machen wir die Butterbrösel in Breadcrumbs are sauteed in butter. Butter aufschäumen lassen, Brösel dazu. Sugar is added immediately before rolling the dumplings in the breadcrumbs. Wenn die Knödel rausnehmen und einmal in der Pfanne durchschwenken. With a salmon tartare on potato pancakes with caviar, Chef Herzer recommends either a Schonberger sparkling wine or a light white wine such as a Gurner Weltliner. This appetizer and the main course of venison medallions with cream cabbage and slip dumplings and a dessert of sweet cheese dumplings, courtesy of the Imperial Hotel and Chef Stefan Herzer. <laughs>